about three quarters, half the size of a AAA, AAA battery. Yep. The battery on this lasts about 16 years. If I didn't need one, I wouldn't have it, but I do need it, and it works exactly as uh, promised and expected. We've been working with the company on it for close to a decade now, just over eight years. And during that time, we've been able to see some of the advancements and some of the challenges with creating this kind of technology. And now we can provide it to anyone, not just in a research setting, but outside of that. That's it's extremely gratifying. It was a little cut down in my groin area mm -hmm. as compared to no incisions up here, nothing up here at all, no lead. Uh, so insert down there and, you know, magic up through through my groin and, and into the, my heart and then these little prongs came out and I was asleep. Twist and a half into my heart and it sits in the base of my heart and I don't know it's there. So the main advantages of this are in patients who have issues with blood vessels in the upper arms where you can't put a regular pacemaker in and their only alternative would be open heart surgery. So actually getting the heart, the chest opened up and the wires sewn on the outside. So that's one group that obviously benefits. The other is patients who have a high risk of infection. So regular pacemakers have about a 1% risk of infection, and these ones have about a 0.1 or 10 times lower risk of infection. I guess the inserting part is the only potential uh, issue. Uh, 15 years, 14 years from now, it, the battery will wear out. I know it's, it's you know it has to be replaced in, in the conventional one too. This one, whether they actually take the battery, you know, take the whole unit out and put a new one in, or whether they just put a second one in beside it, I, I don't know. I know, it's, it's magic.